Hello, this is Carissa X, and sorry for the long wait and the break that it took. It's just school and stuff. I was planning to upload yesterday, but I was thinking either I grind for Xenoverse 2 bikinis or upload a video. Bikinis or video. Bikinis or video. And I pick bikinis. And here is part three of what if Frieza landed on Earth instead of Goku. So where we left off was Dr. Jiro activated 17 and 18. Trunks arrives, he finds Frieza and Cooler, asking them what happened, did they defeat the androids? Frieza said, well kind of, but one of the androids escaped somewhere. And since Dr. Jiro was an android, they couldn't sense his energy. Cooler insists that Frieza and him just trained. They felt like the new androids would have been a lot stronger. Android 17 kills Dr. Dro and then they go off to find 17 and 18 also activated 16 so 16 is on their side as well They go off to find them, but they of course wait for a truck and do what they did in the original Dragon Ball Z Frieza is flying everywhere looking for a place to train looking for where he could get stronger then he finds a tower he flies up to that tower and he finds a cat. The cat is named Corin. Corin read Frieza's mind and knew he had good intentions and he, that he wanted to stop the androids from destroying the earth. Corin couldn't train Frieza. Frieza was much too strong and he was way faster than Corin. So Corin told him to just go and drink the divine water that Goku did that unlocked his potential. Frieza went with Yajirobe. And Frieza drank the water. His soul wasn't destroyed or anything. It was easy for him. He didn't get a huge boost because well, no one really knows what's the multiplier. We don't know if it's like it multiplies your power by a point or just gives you like a set of power, adds more power. Like we don't know. So let's just say Frieza didn't get a huge power boost. Corrin then told Frieza that he could go up to Kami's lookout to train even further. Frieza also brings Trunks and Cooler along to Kame's lookout. Frieza still never learned full key control and more balanced fighting techniques. So Popo teached him just like he teached Goku in Dragon Ball. It didn't take that Goku because Frieza is stronger but mainly because he is a prodigy. So after they were done, Kame tells Frieza and Cooler about the hyperbolic time chamber and how it could get them much much stronger. And that one day here is one year in there. So Frieza and Cooler both agreed to put their differences aside and step into the hyperblock time chamber for an entire year. Trunks was just sitting alone having a conversation with Mr. Popo. Trunks was still confused about this timeline. He was confused. He didn't know what happened to his mom, Bulma. Wasn't she still supposed to be here? Where was she? Well, that all happened. So had came in at least three years ago. He is from Trunks' original timeline, so everything's the same about him. He still has his exact power, he still has Piccolo's genes to regenerate. Cell started in Ginger Town, sucking off the life energy of everyone. Kami could have felt that. He could have felt that everyone was dying because of a creature. Kami couldn't do anything. Piccolo wasn't alive, so he couldn't kill him. But, somewhere in space, somewhere far far away, there was King Cold, father of Frieza and Cooler. He was actually very very worried for both of his kids, Cooler and Frieza. He did find out that they landed on Earth a long time ago, so he went off there. He called in his entire army, his whole forces, to land on Earth. Trunks couldn't wait anymore. So he flew off out of Kami's lookout into Ginger Town. He found Cell and he confronted him. Cell knew who exactly he was in Cell's timeline. He killed Trunks to go to, go to this timeline. 
Then he charged a big Kamehameha. Trunks knew exactly what that was. He seen Gohan do it. And then he sensed other people's key as well. Trunks wanted to know who Cell was and what exactly he wanted. Cell started to tell Trunks his plan, that he was an android from another timeline and that he killed them to take his time machine and also to absorb Android 17 and 18. Trunks went full Super Saiyan and charged at Cell. He was still no match for Cell. Cell just stabbed Trunks with his tail. Five pods have landed along with a spaceship. The pods have opened one by one. Five mysterious men have came out. The huge spaceship has also opened. An entire army of soldiers came out. And in the middle of all of them, there is a huge demon named King Cold. They all confront Cell. Cell didn't know the potential. Just to be safe, he's used his solar flare to blind them all, leaving. King Cold wanted to know where Cool and Frieza were, so he asked Ginyu and his force to go look for them. They all went different directions. Ginyu conveniently headed toward Kame's lookout. Frieza and Cooler came out a little bit early because they got way, way stronger, like by a lot. Frieza only trained for four months and he unlocked his golden form. Imagine if Frieza and Cooler trained for an entire year, they would be strong. Well, they didn't train for an entire year, they trained for six months. At least inside the Hyperblock time chamber. Anyway, Ginyu stops at Kame's lookout. Cooler and Frieza both step out of the Hypersonic Lion Tamer. What will happen next? Find out on the next part of What If Frieza Landed on Earth Instead of Goku. <laughs> Yeah.